Kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel guys and today we've got a really nice and easy to use and powerful Town Hall 15 attack strategy. Now don't worry guys, we're not going to be using super archers in the battle blimp today, no. But we will be using them in the main army. So the main army is going to be 6 electro titans, 9 super archers, 2 super wall breakers. If you can't have 2 super troops, don't worry. Just have the super archers and normal wall breakers. And 2 minions. Spells are going to be 7 skeleton spells. Two Earthquake and two Freeze. Clan Castle Troops, I forgot to add them there, sorry. It's going to be a Yeti and an Electro Titan. And then it's going to be a Freeze spell and a Rage spell. Or a Rage spell and a Poison spell. Depending on if you're struggling taking out the enemy Clan Castle Troops. So on to our first replay, guys. And I'm just trying to find you nice and easy to use Town Hall 15 attacks. that don't necessarily need Super Archers inside the Battle Blimp. I know we've got them in the main army. But yeah, easy to use spam attack. So guys, what you want to do is funnel first of all, but use those skeleton spells to distract the defences. So I put a skeleton spell on the left, on the right, and send an electro titan on the left and right with a couple of super archers if you need to. And those skeleton spells are really important for distracting the defences when you send in your main army. Just try and, don't use them all at once, but try and sort of just use them now and again so the main nasty defences are distracted away from your main army. Then send in your yeah, Electro Titans as the first line of attack with the Super Archers behind them. Grand Warden on ground mode on this base with sending in the Log Launcher. You're going to alternate between using the Log Launcher and the Battle Blimp depending on where the Town Hall is. So we're looking okay here. The Log Launcher's done loads of damage. Then we're going to use a Rage Spell and help those troops take out the town hall. As your troops move through the base, remember to keep putting down those skeleton spells to help out. It really does help your troops sort of get into the base without getting attacked too badly. Um, I normally use my skeleton spells really quickly, but you should really, I think, just use them strategically and don't use them as quickly as I have. So the Queen's doing a good job trying to break through into that next compartment. Also, try and use your skeleton spells to help out the Royal Champion. I would say sending the Royal Champion slightly later than the main attack. So you can look at the battlefield and think, yeah, this area looks good. Then put a skeleton spell down, sending the Royal Champion. If it's a single target Inferno, be careful. Have a free spell as well because you can't always rely on the skeleton spell to distract the single target Inferno totally. And you end up just getting your Royal Champion Inferno'd. So we're out of spells now. It's all down to what troops we've got left. Super Archers are doing an okay job over on the right-hand side. We've got one left. Electro Titan there in the center. And that's Sarah, the Super Archer, doing a great job there. Thank you very much. There's some troops on the left-hand side. Can't see them yet. Oh, it's Mike the Minion and his friend, Marvin the Minion. A great combination there. The most powerful troop in Clash of Clans is Michael the Minion. So on to our next replay and same again, guys. But on this base, I think we're going to be using the Battle Blimp. So, funnel time first of all. Well, after deciding which side you should attack from. Normally, I'd say attack from the side where the Eagle Artillery is. Because if you leave the Eagle Artillery, it's just going to keep attacking your troops throughout the battle and do loads of damage. So, we put a Skeleton Spell on the left and on the right. Done a bit of funneling. Then we're sending in the main army in the center. Grand Warden on ground mode. I like using the log launcher, but on this base, I decided to use the battle blimp just to show you that you can use that as well. I mean, it obviously depends where the town hall is, because if you do have the log launcher and you're going to use that, sometimes you're not going to take out the town hall and you might end up getting one star. So it's pretty safe to be using the battle blimp as well. Clan castle troops, I did say a yeti and an electro titan. Yeah, you can change that, guys. You can use balloons, you can use two yetis, some sneaky goblins. If you're finding they're not taking out the town hall all of the time. So we're okay here. Remember to be sending in those skeleton spells in front of the main army. Distract as many defences as possible. Send in your all champion later. And at this point, I think we haven't got a chance of getting three stars. But it's going to be, I think the Royal Champion is going to make a massive difference. And guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and join the Samus army. And if you're enjoying the video, guys, do remember to like the video as well uh, so what's going to happen here the royal champion trying to take out the monolith we've frozen it and the queen's there she's saying don't worry samus i'm going to get this for you uh, but again it looks yeah this this looks like it it's not going to be a three star attack uh, but don't worry guys it is got the king at the bottom of the map moving through the base 
The Queen's still there, I think, somehow with the Unicorn. We've got Mike the Minion to deploy as well. Now, unfortunately, the King is being Inferno'd. We've got a couple of archers just sniping defences at the bottom of the base. And the Queen's there. Can she take out the single target Inferno? She can because Diggy, the pet, is there helping out as well. And it's going to be a close one, guys. There's Mike the Minion and his friend again. And uh, yeah, they're going to get us three stars. And if Mike is on the battlefield, the chance of getting three stars goes up to 99.73%. So on to our last replay. Centralised Town Hall. Pretty nasty. Not today. So I'm just having a look at the base. So yeah, I really don't want to attack from sort of the monolith side here. But ooh, I think we're going to. I think we're going to. So, first of all, we've sent in a skeleton spell to distract those defences again. Send in a couple of super archers with Electro Titan and the King. Queen on the right hand side. There we go. We sent in a skeleton spell to help out there. So, massive spam attack. Log launcher in the centre. Grand Warden. I'm going to use his ability as late as possible, but try and protect as many troops as possible. Go on, Grand Warden. Help out. Still hasn't used his ability. Are we going to try and save it for the town hall? No. Uh, we're going to try and take out the town hall now. This is looking okay. We've got some super minions there. The town hall is gone. We've got the king on the left-hand side, the queen moving through the base. Remember to be using those skeleton spells to help distract defences as well. Multi-infernos don't really help, do they? But it uh, would be okay, I think. Now, fortunately, the unicorn decided to walk through the poison cloud from the town hall. We have taken out... No, nearly. Yeah, we've taken out any second. Yep, taking out the Eagle Artillery. That's going to help. And the Rule Champion, again, is doing a great job. Hasn't got much health left. But I think she is probably going to be the difference between two and three stars. Or, yeah, I think so. So, we've got plenty of Electro Titans on the left. Might the minion still there. And again, it looks like it's going to be a close attack. But we've taken out most of the nasty defences. when we. I mean, we went straight for the Town Hall, didn't we? I don't normally like doing that because... The damage that town hall does when it's destroyed and your troops walk through it, it's just horrible. So we need to try and keep our troops away from that if possible. Now the super arch is going to be the difference here as well. They're doing a great job just taking out everything. So guys, I just wanted to try and get you a nice and easy to use town hall 15 attack strategy where you're not going to be using super archers inside the battle blimp. I hope this has been helpful for you. Remember that you can use code MOOSE to help support the channel before making any purchases in-game. Remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Remember to like the video if you've enjoyed it. And the army copy link for the army is in the video description. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you later, guys. Bye!